We love Christmas. But I've got a confession. It hasn't been an easy journey for me up to this point. So I'll just share with you this little um, piece of writing here. See, I'm burdened by this season. Please bear with me. I'll explain my reason. See, I have so much to do, even after I'm done doing all that I needed to do. With only a few days left, I'm afraid that I don't have enough strength left. See, I still have presents to buy for people that I've not met yet. And the shops are not open late. And I've got a list of items that I'm yet to get. See, I promised my wife that this would be the best Christmas ever. Now my spirit is grieved, and I'm in dread of December. See, I'm overwhelmed by the sudden activity. I can't even figure out who the main character is in the nativity. But wait, how's Christmas really supposed to be? Perhaps the correct question ought to be, what's Christmas supposed to be? See, I'm convinced that there is more than the hustle and bustle or the maxing up of credit cards at the mall. With all its religious cliches, I wrestle on this quest to articulate the meaning, the true essence, the main reason for why we celebrate Christmas. See, we seem to have lost sight of the truth over the years. Just like I have lost the line that I was reading. <laughs> See, <laughs> so allow me to put aside my whining and speak on the Messiah's timing. See, he was born of a Virgin Mary in the little town of Bethlehem, a humble town, not fit for the birth of a savior, even yet the Messiah, the King. See, it was small, but it was significant. The news of his righteous conception got Mary into worship. She sang, yes, she sang in the spirit to the Lord, a willing vessel. She kept herself virgin till the birth of her Lord. See, heaven had to slow down time and entered the human flesh so that every man could see. See, after 400 years of waiting, God gave us his word in the flesh. Yes, his name, Emmanuel. God came to dwell amongst us. Mary's baby is the fulfillment of God's promise. <laughs> you see, there are some just like me here who may not feel a great value in themselves. So, because I was there, I didn't feel that value. See, I, I was as humble as that stable. And... Um, I was thinking, life is, my life is so empty. I mean, why would God desire me? Just like he was born in a manger, I believe today he'll be born into your life in the midst of your struggle. So listen well as I try to unravel this. See, don't just look to unwrap a Christmas present, but this season look to unwrap a Christmas gift. See, a gift is when you receive something that means much more to the giver. It's when you receive the greatest treasure, and God gave us his greatest treasure in Christ. So, see, we were hopeless and helpless in our sin, and we were in need of a Savior. And because God loves us so much, he gave us his only begotten son, Jesus, was born to die for the sins that we committed. So at Christmas, we celebrate the day Christmas was born into us. Despite our brokenness, he came to dwell in us. Thank you. <laughs>